I'm back at the house. I'm gonna go through these with you one by one. We'll count how many we had. Um, I don't know. I think I'll do well. <coughs> I should make about $200 or so profit. We'll see. It should be, it probably will be more though. I'm gonna go through game by game with you to see how many units we have and what our per, our cost per game is. Jack X Combat Racing. Sims, black label. Uh, I looked up this one. I think it was like 15 bucks. Hot Wheels World Race. Pretty solid. I don't know if it was he had another one for the PS1 or if it was this one, but one of the Hot Wheels games was 15 bucks. So every 10 games, I'll make a little tally on a piece of paper. Alex Trebek, Jeopardy. Is a lie. So that's a 10. Here's a lollipop, pickle, dud, turd, whatever you call it. NHL 01. March Madness 04, I think. Not worth anything either. I played the crap out of this game when it came out, though I remember. Carmelo. So with my evaluation, I didn't even include the duds, like the NHL and the and the uh, NBA and the March Madness, all that garbage. I didn't I didn't even include those. I don't think March Madness is too bad. 04. I think I've, I think 06 is a decent one for PS3, but PS2, excuse me. Uh, NFL Street 3, this is always a good title. Should be about 20. Oh man, it's like new condition though, so I might get more. This is great. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, Black Label. Yeah, we're in great shape here. These discs are excellent. So we're adding, every time you have like a like new, very good disc, you're adding value. Spider-Man 2. I think this is about 10 bucks. A little scratch, nothing crazy. This one was uh, worth something. The Thing, I think it was like 25 or something on eBay. Never heard of it, no manual. Um, very nice shape. Really no scratches, so that's a good one. This one, uh, Tyco Drum Master. It, originally, if it came with like a drum set or something, it didn't have that here. I think it's like five bucks or something. Sub Rebellion. I think this one was decent too. Great discs, like I said, the constant theme, which is great for us. Time splitters. Festo 3 garbage. That's a cool manual though. <laughs> 
Um, this was a really good one. Uh, when I went through the pictures, I was excited that this was in it. The bouncer. On the Matrix, in great shape, uh, complete the manual, and this was one I was really excited about. Uh, College Hoops 2K8. For PS3, um, the game's been fluctuating a little bit. It was as high as like 160 at one point. I think now it's still around like 120 on Amazon in acceptable condition. This is good condition, so uh, that's a great, it's probably the most valuable game in the lot, believe it or not. Uh, NCAA uh, 2K Sports College Hoops 2K8. That is huge for us. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, SpongeBob. Flying Dutchman. This was decent, I think, for uh, five bucks, maybe. And War Jets. A lot of these I've never heard of. This is like new. So these will be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's another 10. We are already at 30 games. We're looking good. Let's grab another stack. Here we go. Dud. No surprises. Believe it or not, Scooby-Doo games are pretty good. I think this was like 15, maybe more. So that's another reason why I went for this a lot. There's some random games like this, and this is like perfect condition. So we might even get more. Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, black label. Uh, Crash Nitro Kart, also another good one. Should be about 10 after fees, might be more really great shape uh this was another surprisingly good one dog's life i think it's just one of those rare games you didn't see that often um i saw i think as high as like 20 on ebay it might even be more on amazon i did not check so when i did look up all these games i made sure to look up ebay and every time i saw a sold comp i deducted a few dollars for myself and that's why i decided to go and take a shot on this because i knew uh when i did start looking it up on amazon i would get more money overall um, so this should be a great find. Um, a Dog's Life. Dog's Life, it's just called. PS2, black label. Believe it or not, this is actually another good one. ESPN NFL 2K5 for PS2. This is actually worth, I think, like $10 on eBay. So not a bad find. Uh, it's in really good shape, it looks like. Got all the inserts. It's like a perfect disc. So uh, definitely excited about that one. Extermination was another good one. Black label. I mean, perfect condition. We're moving right along. Final Fantasy X. Uh, it's not as much as you would think, but it's still uh, got some value. Gallup Racer 2003. This was one that was actually worth something good. Um, I've never seen this. It's like new condition. So I'm really excited. I think this one was in the 20s as well. I'll look it up. I'll show you on the screen next to me. But it might have been 15, might have been 10. But you would not think a horse racing game is worth anything. But this had some value for PS2. Um, most of these are PS2. It's PS2, PS1. I think the only PS3 game was College Hoop. So uh, we're doing well. The Getaway, not sure. I don't remember on that one. Um, but again, we're in great shape. Now... I'm losing my breath, sorry. This is, uh, these wrestling games, I'll tell you something, they're, they got some great value. Uh, this is SmackDown, just bring it. You got The Rock on the cover. Um, we are complete. And we are like new with a, a light smudge on it, but this will sell nicely, at least $10 there. And we're all at 40 games. So I'm gonna put these down and grab another couple stacks. Keep it moving for you. Uh, if you like videos like these, like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. I think I overpaid for this lot. Like I said, it's. I'm going to give you a final count, but I think it was about 150 games. I paid $6.96. It was supposed to be 7 but I had, it was like $4 short because um, I had a limit on the ATM transaction and I had like $96 in my wallet. So um, we did $6.96. I'll let you know the totals. We're at 40 games so far. Continuing on. 
a lot of these are rare games, black label games from PS2. Uh, this was incredible shape. Fatal Frame 2, you have uh, complete with the manual. You have a near perfect disc. I mean, this is like, it, you can't see it on camera, but it is perfect. Um, this is probably one of the, the other great games in the lot, along with number one and College Hoops. Uh, it should be at least 40 on eBay, but I, with this condition, I think I'll get close to 50 or 60. I'll keep you posted. I even, I don't know if I feel comfortable sending this into Amazon. My rule of thumb with that is if it's really valuable and really rare, I don't trust Amazon with it. But if it's a common title um, around $50 or less, I'll send it in. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. This is in great. great shape a um, couple videos back i made a great sale with metal gear solid lot i made myself uh for ps3 only one of the titles had value it was the collection it was worth like 35 to 37 bucks i bundled that with like four other very common uh, metal gear solid titles and ended up getting about 75 dollars ship so i might do that here with all these ps2 metal gear titles and there's a couple ps1s ps1 versions as well so we'll see what we end up with um nfl street this is a great game uh very very highly sought out uh we're in great shape we got the manual so this should be about 15 to 20 dollars uh we got a couple of game we only have three gamecube titles too bad but these are good ones resident evil uh player's choice complete with both discs let's see how they look I've sold this one before on Amazon for about 20. Um, not sure where the where the market is with it now, but these are like perfect condition. So I have no problem seeing why we would get that again. And then Resident Evil 4, a little dusty. Uh, make sure we keep wiping them down. Uh, we're kind of speeding through this for you. Um, like and subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications. Let me know how you think I'll do. I don't think I'll do great, but I do think I'll profit. Resident Evil 4. Um, yeah, this is, uh, these are in great shape. So I could definitely get this up to like very good condition, which will bump my value for sure. Uh, and then Sonic Mega Collection, not worth much either, but a cool game nonetheless. Complete, I mean, perfect, right? These discs are perfect. Uh, this is one of the duds, All-Star Baseball 02. Did you get on the cover? Nothing special there. Mm, black, don't know about this one. I've seen it around, I've played it. I know it's not worth much. Complete the manual. Run. Devil May Cry demo CD. Um, I don't know. I don't think this is worth much either. The disc is perfect. And let's see the, de the bonus Devil May Cry demo disc. Also great. So maybe 10. I think it was 10 on eBay. Should get a little more. I decided to go the Amazon route. Uh, this was a good one, Manhunt. Um, looks cool. I think it was like 20 on eBay. I mean, this the great thing about this collection is um, that the, the conditions are, are excellent. Um, Manhunt, this should be a good sale. Uh, there, it was a really nice couple. They were, said they were moving to North Carolina. He was trying to just unload and liquidate. He actually had Clock Tower one, two, and three, and he wouldn't he wouldn't part with it. Um, he knew what his stuff was worth, and I respected him for that. But I, I tried to offer him nine hundred for everything, including Clock Tower one, two, and three. But he said no. He wanted to hold on to it. Um, we will continue on here. Midnight Club two. Up on that one. Uh, this is very common, Metal Hunter, Rising Sun. Street Hoops. Uh, this was another good Scooby Doo, Mystery Mayhem. I think it was about 10. Might have been more. Don't quote me. There was a few Scooby Doo titles. Believe it or not, they're, they're valuable. Um, there was a few for PS1 as well. So that's a good one. Um, we're almost done here with the PS2s. We're going to go with the PS1s and Xbox in a second. Uh, this one's not worth much state of emergency. I don't know if I'm this one. No 
we are officially at 60 games so far. This one was like ancient looking. Return fire long box version. Uh, the game looks very beat up. Can't even open it. I mean, it's really beat up, but I think it's a decent value on that one. If it works. I think it was like 30 or so. Uh, number GTA 3 same idea that's in good shape Smackdown here comes the pain Mr. Brock Lesnar on the front this was a good one um a little scratched up but we'll still get about 10 to 20 bucks for that Jack and Daxter Precursor, Precursor Legacy. It's like the first one, I think. Complete. A little scratched up, but we'll do okay. Wipe them down a little bit. Wipe them down. Okay. That's another 10. So we're at 70 count so far. We will continue. All right, I think that's it for the PS2 titles. Uh, I got a couple more PS3. I was mistaken. There's like a couple more PS3, some Xbox 360, and then PS1. Let's get into the PS1. There's some good value here as well. All right, starting with the incredible Madden 97. Just kidding. It's garbage. Case is broken. So that's a dud. Madden 98, that's a dud. Uh, this was a good one. Lost Worlds. Jurassic Park, cool little, um, I don't know what you would call that again, that like refractor cover thing, the disc is scratched up as expected, but it's in pretty good shape for its age, that's a pretty decent title, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, this was worth a solid uh, 20 bucks I think. The front cover is disconnected, but it, it does snap on. Black Label games do tend to go for more. By Black Label, I mean this part. For PS1, they're either black or then the next title here, GTA 2, green. Uh, for whatever reason, the original versions do sell for more, and they call them Black Label. Um, so that's a good one. And then, like I said, GTA 2, Grand Theft Auto 2. Never played the old, old Grand Theft Autos, but... Uh, it just looks awful. I, feel, I don't want to disrespect, but I know uh, it's a greatest hits, so I know it was popular. I mean, it's like a great, this is like new, so I should get some decent money for this. And then I also have number one, uh, green label. Um, looks like I have some inserts as well. Uh, it's a great disc as well. So these are going to be decent. I might lot those up. And then this was a really valuable one, Gex, Enter the Gecko black label too bad the case is broken a little bit so it might take a little money off for us but this i think was going for around 35 bucks on ebay so this was one of the reasons why i bought it he had a bunch of these silly army men games they're not great but i may lot them together army men 3d uh army men world war Ro army men world war land sea air and sarge's heroes so that's like a lot of four I hopefully can get, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks for all four of them. We'll see. Maybe not. Uh, Battle Arena Toshinden. Toshiden. Black Label. Where are we at now? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. It's already 
We're at 82 games so far. We're moving right along. Kind of trying to do this quick for you guys. I'll probably cut this up a lot. Um, here's a dud Wheel of Fortune. Pretty sure it's worthless. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. WCW Nitro. It's got a block Blockbuster sticker on the back. That's fun. Um, it's in decent shape. This was good. Vigilante 8 Second Offense. I think it was like $10 to $20. Believe it or not, it's like a racing type action fighting stuff going on. WWF Attitude. Wrestling games always do pretty well for me. Um, pretty scratched up on that one. Black Label. All right, moving right along. Smackdown. Another good one. I've known, and then I also have number two. I've sold this one for like over 20 before. I'm assuming they're both around the same price. I got number one and two, Know Your Roll, both black label, both complete. The case here, number one's a little cracked in the front, but all in all, looks like the disc's in good shape, so we should get decent money there. And number two, we're in very good shape, just needs a little wipe, um, but we're happy there. This is a great title, to Twisted Metal 2. Um, now it looks really beat up though, unfortunately, in the front, but it looks like there might've just been like a sticker on it. There was like a little glue residue. The disc itself is in great shape. And I don't know if this was like from a rental place or something, there's a little sticker on the front, but. This game's very valuable. I've sold it for like 35 before on this channel, disc only. So a little bit of artwork. I might get 40 for that. Uh, where are we at now? And Vigilante 8. So I showed you the other one. This one was like 25, I think. Um, scratched a little bit, but we still should do decent there. Complete case is a little cracked. Level 4, this is another good one. All the Twisted Metal games are solid. I still think I overpaid, but we'll see. So we're actually at 90 now. And Twisted Metal Small Brawl, black label. This was like 15, I think. It's like new, wow. So I should do decent on that one. And this is a great, I've sold this one a bunch, Resident Evil Nemesis with the Dino Crisis um, demo disc. This is, no, just a little mark on it. This go, this is a great disc. It also has the Dino Crisis demo. Uh, so this should be about 55. This is a great one, um, black label. And then I have the director's cut green label. Should see, be around the same. Might be a little scratched up, but it might be 40. This is a great find too. So another couple of great ones. We're almost at 100. Mr. Crash Bandicoot, number one. We are scratched to shit, but I think it'll work. And number two. Everything looks playable. And then we got Warped. I think that's three, right? Warped was number three. Yeah. Crash three Warped. So one, two, and three do pretty well as a, as a lot. I might do that on eBay. And then I got Team Racing. Front came off, but what matters is that it works. We'll always note that in the listing that the whole case is there, but if the front comes off. So those alone should get me, I don't know, Crash 1, 2, and 3 should get me about 40 or 50. Team Throwing Team Race, I might get 60 or more. Uh, this is a really good uh, find. Croc, Legend of Gobos. Uh, I think this is the first one. 
Uh, I think it's 25 on eBay. Really good shape. Yeah, I think this is the first one. Black Label sells for more. And then Final Fantasy VII was worth a lot too. Let's see how the discs are. We have disc one. We're in great shape. We have disc two. We have disc three. Can you see that? You cannot see that. <laughs> disc three. And that's it. Black label, that's gonna be a decent one. Um, I think we're at 110 now. Resident Evil Survivor, it looks like the, oh yeah, the artwork is kinda reprinted from a computer, but I think the disc, yeah, the disc isn't in great shape. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but this goes for about 40 bucks. So this is another good find. Triple Play 98. Dud. Pro Skater 2 is a good one, as well as number one. Black Label as well, so we're happy about that. Great shape. And we're officially at 110. Theme Hospital. This was strange, but it was like $25 on eBay. Uh, the case seems to be broken on the inside. The disc looks near perfect, so this should be a good a good find. Uh, moving right along, trying to move the stacks over. This was another valuable Scooby-Doo find. Cyber Chase, all for PS1. Dim City 2000. Another one of those weird, gigantic cases, but only one disc. Winding down from the PS1. Alright. Spec Ops. This is a really good one. Spider-Man. The black label is like 25. I should get around 20 for it. And we're in really good shape. Ooh, we're in like new shape, I should say. So that's a great one. Uh, by great, you know, I I know it sounds exaggerate, but if I'm selling a game for twenty dollars, that that's gonna make up for a lot of the duds. So to me, that's great. If you don't think it's great, then it's not great for you. Whatever. Star Wars: Phantom Menace, like fifteen or so, I believe. Green label. Excellent condition on the disc. The case is correct. I think this one's decent. Don't remember if I even looked this one up. And that is officially another 10, I think. One, two, no, no, three, eight, nine. Pool Hustler. This one I was really excited about. Parappa the Rappa. I know this is like 50 or 60 bucks. And this is like complete. Looks like it's in great shape. Um, now I bought a lot couple weeks ago and this was in it disc only but unfortunately the disc was cracked um it actually played it's just the sound was really messed up so this is good this is a great find uh this is at least 50 bucks if not more it's in great shape so this is another really good one um i think that's another 10 one two three four so we're at 121 make sure you never know if you open one up you might find Clock Tower, right? NFL Blitz, always a good one. It's like 10. Black Label, Great Disc, Getting Delirious, NBA Live 2000. Timmy Duncan on the front. All right, we're almost there. PS1 is almost done. NBA Live 98 is a dud. So these are the games I'm obviously going to take a loss on, of course. That's another 10, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're at 131. Micro Machines V3. I think this was okay. Blockbuster stickers on it, baby. Yeah. 
All right, here's a Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, black label. This was $4.99 at one point. How about that? That was a steal. Should be worth about 15, 10 to 20 now. I'm not sure how much, but that's a good one. Medal of Honor, the first one. This could be valuable. I don't think it is, but it could be. The very first Medal of Honor, green label. Maximum Force. Pull the trigger, it says. Don't pull the trigger at home, but this is what the title says. Pull the trigger. All right, that is it for the PS1 games. We're currently at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are at 135. I think we're going to close in right around 150. So what's the math on that? I'm not sure. I'll do it in a second. On to the next handful. Oh, we got one more PS1 game. Then it is worthless. College Slam. Doesn't even have a case. It is beat to shit, so I don't think that's worth anything. Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix for PS3. This looks good. Disc is perfect. So it's always nice when people... Take care of their stuff when they part with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this is actually going nicely right now online. Maybe because people are in the house and they're rekindling their interest in Guitar Hero. Keep an eye out for all of them. Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock for PS3. Um, ooh, that needs a wipe badly. Eight. SOCOM Confrontation. Not for resale. Ha <laughs> ha that's a funny one. Ooh, this is, maybe, I don't know, the PS3 games are not in good shape. Thank God College Hoops was. This is not. This is like, there's dirt on the bottom. I don't think I'll do too bad on it. Of course I will let you know. Uh... Yeah, this one is not in good shape. I think that's another 10, if I may be correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Bound to Xbox, Mercenaries, Playground of Destruction. Looks like we're in good shape here. And that is another 10. We're at 140 games. I think we'll pass 150. Limited edition Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf. That is a mouthful. It looks cool. Never heard of it. It's got two discs, too. Who knows? Oh, God. Look at that. That is, uh, I don't know. Can you see that? There's like poop on the bottom. Not good. Not good. Mmm. Call of Duty. Halo really has very little value. Uh, used for resale. Um, I cleaned that up pretty good. Hopefully that does the trick. I don't even have an Xbox to test it, but we'll see. Um, okay, we're starting a new pile. Fallout 3 game add-on pack. The Pit and the Operation Anchorage. Okay. Don't know about that one. Doom 3. That could be good for Xbox. Doom's always a good one. And there's no game in here. It's just the freaking case. Just the case. Ah, oh, disappointing. But the poster's here. So that sucks. Call of Duty Ghost. I've seen this game so many times. I may just throw it in the garbage. Now, it's always a good one. One of the few that sell for me on for the 360. Ooh, that disc is ugly. So I'm not, not happy here with the last pull. Um, that disc looks permanently damaged. So I don't even know if I'll feel comfortable putting that in a console. It may ruin it. So this is not a good last bundle sneaking don't think it's 
Oh god, it's the Burger King King. Stealthily. Is this for real? What the hell? Who made this game? King Games. So Burger King has... <laughs> wow. And it's like new. Who in their right mind would buy this? Somebody did. This guy did. Cool. Whatever. There's no UPC on it. I wonder if they just gave it for free. Uh, so... We're almost there. Got like my last handful. Want to see? The bin is completely empty. Do you see that? I hope you do. So this is it. This is our last handful. Oops. All right. What is with this Burger King guy? The king is. Oh God! It's sealed too. Sealed. Pocket bike racer. Ooh, we got sealed media. Big bumping. Why have I seen this game so many times? And it is worthless. So Burger King decided to put out some games, I guess. Uh, didn't know that. So I saw this one, and I didn't know there was th two others. So we have Sneaking. <laughs> we have Sneaking. We have Big Bumpin' and Pocket Bike Racer. They all have the Burger King logo on them. Why? I don't know. I doubt there's any value. All right, this is always a good one. Mortal Kombat. Just Mortal Kombat. Uh, for the 360. A little scratch, but always gonna get about $10 for that. NBA 2K7, might as well go in the garbage. NBA 2K10, rest in peace, Kobe. The game, don't think it's worth anything. Bonus, three pack of Resident Resident Evil 6. This was from Walmart. Uh, oh, it does have the decal, so that's cool. Three pack of decals. I don't think it's worth anything, but it could be. The game is in great shape. I might get $10 for this. Two discs like new. We'll see. All right, so that is officially another 10. So we're at 150, and we have five games left. And no, I did not count the empty cases again. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. That's a good one, complete. Looks like new. That'll fetch us some decent coinage. About 10. Sega Superstars Tennis. And Arcade. I don't think this one was worth much. Maybe five bucks. Star Wars Battlefront 2. I think this one's decent. I've sold it before on the PS2 for about 10. Xbox, maybe more, maybe less, maybe the same. Probably less. Star Wars Republic Command. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think I might lose money on this. But, like I said, if you guys watch this video like it or not like it even if you have comments that are rude get me in that algorithm so people watch this stuff um yeah and we got our last but not least lego star wars the video game so our final count is 155 we paid 696 dollars divide that by 155 hey siri I paid $4.49 for 155 games plus one empty game case uh, per, per item. I don't know. I might break even. I might lose money. I might make a little. All in all, I don't think I'm going to do anything crazy, but I thought it was cool content. I will keep you updated, of course. Please like and subscribe. Um... And I will update you on the process. So like I said, $696 spent, $155, excuse me, 155 games plus one empty case. So you want to be technical, 156 units. I got about $449, $450 per unit. 
This video was at around 45 minutes to film. The drive was about 45 minutes to an hour each way. So we're at two hours and 45 minutes so far of work. It might take me another hour or two to run through these with a test and list. So we're talking maybe five hours worth of work. Um, I don't know. Hopefully I could sell it. We'll see. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think this was my best buy. Um, at least I got a cool tote out of it. <laughs> but I do plan on actually, uh, in other news, sending the rest of my inventory to Amazon to free up more space for eBay. Then if you like videos like this, if you're into video games, I'm going to try and um, continue to do those because I'm good with them. You wouldn't think so by watching this deal, but um, I typically do very well selling video games online, mostly picking them up on Facebook Marketplace, let go in other uh selling apps mostly those two though sometimes mercari um but yeah i'm gonna try and diversify i made a nice sale today of a non video game item it's a nice hat i picked up from ross for like 12 bucks sold it for like 32 if you if you enjoy the content hit that uh thumbs up button it's free it doesn't cost you anything please consider subscribing to the self proclaimed junk genie i would consider this uh stuff like this junk but stuff like this is good and stuff like this is really good um but in all seriousness thank you so much for watching we'll get this edited and up i am backed up again um please like and subscribe comment below turn on the post notifications and we will see you in the next video i'll let you know obviously what sells We're probably going to take a loss in this deal but it's all about the love the fun the content money is important though so can't do this too often <laughs> where we're losing but uh we'll see we, we'll we might be surprised uh stay tuned thanks so much for watching take care we'll see you in the next one bye